Welcome to the review of Unit 3. To give you a summary of what we talked about earlier was that in Oregon, they have a new measure called Measure 110, and this is to decriminalize the use of hard drugs. Not make it legal, but to you know, lessen the punishment um, uh, for the people who use it or who are addicted to hard drugs. Um, and some of you might know that some U.S. states have decriminalized the consumption and buying or selling of weed or marijuana, cannabis, uh, as it's commonly called, mm -hmm. in different states. Uh, but it's not federally in the U.S. legal. Um, now, a lot of the people who support uh, this Measure 110 say that um, some people don't have the self-control to maybe end their addiction or overcome uh, their addiction to hard drugs mm -hmm. and that you know this you know if they're sent to prison as they often are that prison is not a place for people to overcome this sure they can become clean and sober through very extreme measures because they're just denied access to it completely we often say cold turkey you end something hard and they get off drugs, but if you're in prison, you often end up back in prison once you're out. It's a very rough cycle. Clean and sober. Clean and sober. People who are against, you know, Measure 110, they argue that, you know, they don't buy the idea that softening the punishment will, you know, help people not use it or help them get their life right. They say this will lead to more hard drug use. Um, but overall society, at least within Oregon, is saying that maybe it's time, you know, to have a softer approach. If it yields good results, why not do it? You know, let's give some people a break and see if we can end this hard cycle of hard drugs. Mm -hmm. Yield. Yield. On the idea of like people who are addicted, what sorts of treatment and counseling should be available to them? That's also hard. I do believe they do need a lot of uh, therapy mm -hmm. because it is also a very mental thing. Right. Your body obviously first needs, you need to detox. And that's, that's a whole separate thing. Mm -hmm. But I do believe after that, it's a lot of therapy and kind of like rewiring your brain in a sense, because yeah. many people reach to alcohol or drugs when they are emotionally, they're feeling emotionally unstable or mm, right. lonely or scared or nervous. They have many reasons. Mm -hmm. So I suppose that's something to focus on, but I also, I'm not an expert on this. I right. couldn't say. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you said it perfectly. I don't have anything more to add. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you're counseling this kind of psychological treatment mm. could be very useful for some people. Yes, it's, it's, a, it's a disease, so to speak. So right. you need to spend a lot of time on trying to heal right. this, this thing. That's it for our review section, and we'll see you on the next one.